Welcome to the second video of my series on the Bionicle books and the last video in the series, which was also the first video funny that I talked about the first Bionicle book. Charming yet mediocre, it laid the groundwork for a pretty unique fictional world, but you don't get 10 years of story with mere groundwork. You have to build on a foundation. The world continues... <laughs> I mean, when I'm almost, well, like, obviously with practice, I'm almost talking as fast as John Mashita. Like, you know, I can be, you know, <laughs> I can be, I can be forgiven for, you know, slurring over those words. I need a, I need to lubricate up my lips, though. I need to do the thigh press. That's the thing. Jeez. I have to remember all these things to do, like press thighs together. <laughs> Work my thigh. <laughs> Why is everything about my thigh? <laughs> Everything is thighs if you try hard enough. And the f f f f f I'll go to the second. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fine with bionicle noises being in the video. That's also totally fine. The plastic clicking together is extremely nostalgic. <laughs> it's like extremely nostalgic. It just makes me like I can hear bionicles from across the room. It was released in 2003, and as I said in the, about the. Blah, 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 this doesn't do the book any favors. Let me say that right up front. This one's going to be different than a piece than the first one, but in my opinion, no less interesting to discuss. I used to really like this one when I was younger, but my thoughts on it are more complicated now. <laughs> I'm going to need to include some of those because I'm actually getting really good at that. Same as last time, the comics alone did not shirt, shirt in the birdle. Yeah. <laughs> what the heck is with my health? Let's do that. <laughs> I am not going to get the eyebrows right again. <laughs> the opening scene of a, of a book in general. Yeah, of course. As the Toa unleash, uh, unleash their victory. <laughs> that sounds that sounds like a praise song. <laughs> unleash your victory in Christ. <laughs> the creature, deep in slumber, felt the trembling of the ear. Trembling. The trembling. That's a new word. I should remember that one. I, to, I wish I had my phone so I could keep it in my new words list. You need to unlock your crotch. Bionicles. Sorry to have to do this to you again. It's a real shame, too, since some really interesting things like the love, love, love station, yeah. I do actually recommend giving the action. <laughs> Nothing happens underwater in the entire episode. Episode. This isn't a TV show. It should have been a TV show. Including Taraga Matau, wearing and possessed. The first snippet described Lewa tripped over a bulu root, almost falling to the ground. He growled in anger. Clust cl cluster. This video is a cluster. He finds Lewa when the Toa of Air attacks him under the control of a chronic. <laughs> but Onua tries a different tack and tack. Okay, we're gonna back up. And P. <laughs> Fix the hair. I mean, didn't you remember the, what the direct... <laughs> and so I leaped right to the help task before I... Before I... <laughs> I need to start from the beginning. I hate this. Hate this. Oh. No, they will remind them. It is the boat. <laughs> Label would sound. There's a big honking explosion because apparently Tahu blew up the net heart of. <laughs> but the Toa levitated. <laughs> Still running? Good. It'd be really unfortunate if it wasn't. <sighs> you didn't... I'm screwing up things I didn't screw up before. Dang it. <laughs> What's happening? Label wondered desperately as the thoughts is. Thoughts is, what am I, Gollum? The creature before him... Why did my brain just fart right there? That was... It was incredible. Are they referring to Matanui when it was in... Pop the crotch back, and do this. The narration makes it seem like the combination of elemental powers creates this stuff. It's like... 
special out of 10. Just special out of 10. Like extra, ultra mega duper rad Gundam 5000 inefficient. Then the water evaporated away into a howling wind that swept him around and around until he landed on the harbor. <laughs> <laughs> and looking at concepts from art director <laughs> considering having e having eaten anything today um I need to get going before my body remembers that it hasn't eaten anything today I am so pumped to actually get this over with sat on this for five months completely unnecessary completely unnecessary but cest la vie as the French say <clears throat> the, the, the unfortunate thing is when you say that you're in that's life mode then you have to say incest la vie mode and that's not no no because in in French is dans so Dan's it's like it's like if Europeans spelled dance but actually that is kind of what it looks like is that Europeans are spelling dance I accidentally discovered something even though that's not related at all to the word dance I still discovered something I don't know if it's about myself or about the word but there you go <laughs> my short-term memory is just absolutely fried right now just completely destroyed just 100 percent. i don't know why uh, i'll do the head massage do this this doesn't do anything but maybe it maybe like it'll conjure the energy of the aligned planets and and then captain planet will show up but he'll be the 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 uh the Don Cheadle version of Captain Planet, he'll just kill me. I really need to stop deliberately goofing the camera. This, this is getting really distracting. <laughs> <laughs> this is the hardest part, by far. This is the hardest part. Editing is easy. Like, just just take my time make it good and then do it like this is a huge pain gotta give props gotta give props to the housemate over there who can definitely hear everything that's happening down here and is not complaining or anything like that he's not the complaining type but gotta give props to that because this has got to be like this level of noise ish for the entire day has got to be really obnoxious for it's got to be really obnoxious all right, I think we're actually done here. They were going to pack it in. I need to clean up for the party that I'm having. And, uh, because I need the table to put Chicken Shack on. I need food in my stomach. Um, because I have had, I've put none of it in my stomach today. The only things I've swallowed have been a mint, have been two tic tacs, a bunch of my spit, a bunch of my own mucus, and some water. That is literally it. So a normal morning, except it's not morning anymore. It's freaking um, 2 p.m. I'm glad I got that done in two hours instead of three like the last one, but holy crap. I'm better at this, that's for sure. Definitely better at this, but it's two hours that will eventually probably become 25-ish minutes. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, and uh, for anyone who noticed, yeah, uh, last video I didn't have the G2 books there. I have the G2 books there now. I should have had them there the first time. I think last time I was having some sort of weird idea about, like, let's limit scope um, when we initially set things forward. But we just, when we're setting this up, but I do fully intend to go through the G2 books because I did genuinely enjoy one of them. So 
it's worth talking about. It's worth talking about. Also, G2 needs more credit for the things that it did right. It did a lot of things wrong, but it it did some things really, really right. Not least of all the toys, which were by far the best, but it's a different, it's a different discussion. <sighs> That's just for the outtakes. <laughs>